charging up without plugging in. Could this be the future for electric vehicles? In the town of Lund in southern Sweden, I'm being taken for a spin along Evolution Road. This looks like a, a regular electric vehicle, but underneath there's something different. There's a pickup that means it makes contact with electrified rail and can charge up while it's on the go. The road consists of short segments that actually switch on power under the vehicle. The power is following the vehicle mm -hmm. and we have more than three sliding contacts so we get a steady current from the road. The technology here isn't wireless, it's called conductive charging. Imagine a scale electrics. Electricity flows to the vehicle through a metal strip that slides along the rail. A camera follows the green LED lights to help keep it centred, while an antenna system and series of sensors ensure only specific sections have live current. And because it IDs the vehicle, the owner can be billed for their energy use. Under here you have an antenna receiver, so the vehicle comes, send a signal. This will switch on to 650 volt when the vehicle is over it. And then when it has passed, it will immediately switch off. Elon Road, the firm behind the tech, argued that electric roads make more sense than building a huge network of chargers. This is especially uh, important when you have long-haul trucks or buses and it's actually cheaper to build electric roads if everyone has smaller batteries. It will pay for the infrastructure. It works for all types of four-wheeled vehicles. To test it out, a Tesla and Nissan Leaf have been modified, though there's no connection to those companies. The tech has also been applied to a local bus and even this commercial van. I think it's time I give it a go. <laughs> I don't get to drive vans very often. So I'm just going to centre the van. Yeah. So let's see if you can get the pickup down. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's following the... I can see the green lights yes. and it's there, isn't it? Yeah. So now you, you will get the energy to drive and you will charge the battery at the same time. And when you leave the road, it will automatically go up. Yeah. You can continue driving for twice the length. But just how safe is it having an electrical current in the middle of the road, both for drivers and the public? We believe we have a really safe system that you cannot hack and it will immediately shut down the road if, if someone tries to tamper with it. The demo road in Lund will be here for just one more year. This is one of the rails that's been out on Evolution Road and been tested in a real life environment. And we take it back and we open it up to see how it has been affected by snow, water, ice, whatever. Now, new track is being made, ready for high speed testing in Belgium. And the startup is looking beyond cities to roads at ports and industrial sites. If you have a broad network of charge rails or electrical road system, you don't have to carry on board all the energy you need. That means we can reduce the battery sizes. We can accelerate the electrification, but using much smaller resources than compared to it than everyone having big batteries. It's still going to need a lot of new infrastructure to be built though, isn't it? All these rails will have to be installed. It will require investments, but we need to do that in order to have this change. And I think going forward, it won't be either cords or electrical roads. It will actually be all of the above, because we will need so much charging infrastructure to have a 100% fully electric society. Here in Sweden, plans are moving ahead to build the country's first permanent electrified road by 2025. So perhaps in the not too distant future, we could be powering up as we drive. Mm -hmm.